Beats, rhymes, and tech, the intersection of art, technology, and hip-hop is my independent study that pretty much rounds up my self-design major in interactive design and development. Beats, rhymes, and tech is a series of four interactive installations inspired by the four elements of hip-hop culture, turntablism, DJing, graffiti, breaking, b-boying, and rapping and seeing in order to explore cult the culture's innovative and technological roots and also explore how hip-hop's complex relationship with technology. Um, now let me give you some hip-hop history. Hip-hop was formed during the 1970s from block parodies where DJs like DJ Cole Herc were connect their equipment to street lamps and use samples from existing beats. DJs like DJ Cole Herc and African Babada used hip-hop to transform gang culture within the Bronx. In addition, African Babada and the Zulu Nation was key to expand the hip-hop hip culture worldwide. My inspiration for my work were some classes I've taken throughout the five colleges, like Interactive Digital Multimedia, Projects and Installation One, Indian Media Digital Media, and Body and Space. I also watched a lot of hip hop documentaries and read the article, Digital Divided Technology's Impacts on Hip Hop Music and Culture, which showcased hip hop complex relationship with technology. And Young Gru, who is an, who is an audio engineer for artists like um, Jay-Z and Beyonce who was on a podcast discussing his relationship with hip-hop. The four elements are DJing, turntablism, graffiti, breaking, and rapping emceeing. The questions I wanted to explore was how technology impacted hip-hop culture, how each element affected the expansion of the culture, showcasing these elements but still respect the art, and how to convey each element in certain space. My, my first installation is DJing turntablism, which is the art of manipulating sound in order to create music. The material I used was the Arduino, which is a small microcontroller that controls the structure, distance sensors, styrofoam cups, and SD card. And my initial idea was to manipulate the space with, sound, with mini sound sculptures. So when you approach a sculpture, then the sculpture will make different types of noises. My initial idea was a failure due to lack of sound quality because the Arduino does not have enough power. So I decided to look back at my final project, which inspired the installations. Another problem was that I felt that the structure took over the space versus sound. And also, I didn't have, did not take good documentation. Um, so inspired by the life of Pablo, I've been looking at how artists use samples to engage the audience with software like with sound software like Max MSP. My second installation was inspired by graffiti, which are drawings that have been scribbled or painted on the surface, on surfaces. I was inspired by the color movement of the culture and the fleeting aspect of the art. The material I use are webcam and the OpenCV software and processing, which is a program language for artists. My idea was to turn real life into graffiti, so the image on the right is inspired by movement. So the more you move, the more you see a clearer image. Then an image on the left, which is inspired on the color and movement of graffiti. So the more you move, the bigger the circles, and the bigger, and it also takes in color as well. My ideas for the future is to display in a way that represents graffiti so that it becomes more accessible to people. So like putting it on the web so that more people can have access to it on their own computers. My third installation, which is inspired by street dance, which originated by black and Latino youth in the Bronx, where they would dance to DJ's break beats. I was influenced by the physicality of breaking, the visual representation of the form, and by talking to Jennifer Weber, a hip hop instructor at Mount Holyoke, about how breakers use their whole bodies. The material I used was the Microsoft Connect, which is a depth camera which will capture someone's body and processing. <laughs>
For the future, I want to collaborate with more people and different type of dancers and develop it more fully to use technology to create engaging performances. My last installation is Rapping and Seeing, which is a speaking or chanting to lyrics on and off beat. I was interested in dissecting language through Greek geographical influence like East Coast, West Coast, and the South, how rappers utilize current language to convey meaning, and how they create language to convey their situation. Um, the, the issues with all my installations were technology clowning the message, um, trying to install it in a public space where no students have done it, have done it before, trying to get the equipment and learn how to document my work. I want to thank Ri Hachianagi, Gina Sipel, John Slepian, and Audrey St. John, and friends who helped set up and showed up for my work.